Tatiana Suarez is back with her second fight this calendar year in 2023. Getting the activity going. Uh, she's back August 5th, taking on Verna and Jandy Roba. Uh, good matchup, good fight um, for Tatiana Suarez. Um, you know, number 10 in the world, Tatiana Suarez versus number five, Verna Janji Roba. If Tatiana Suarez wins, she cracks the top five. And honestly, I'd say with the win over Verna, she deserves a crack at the UFC strawweight title. Well, first, she's got to get in line and wait for Xiao Nan. Um, when Xiao Nan gets the title shot after Zhang beats Lemos, although actually, if Lemos wins, they might give Zhang a rematch since Whaley kind of has those privileges and then Xiao Nan might have to wait. So then maybe we do Suarez versus Xiao Nan. But assuming all goes well for Zhang Weili and they get that Xiao Nan fight going, Tatiana could be in the mix for a title shot just with one win. Maybe she'll need one more, but who else is she going to fight? Like Rose has no desire to fight. She feels kind of off the table. So looking forward to this matchup. It's a wrestler versus grappler matchup tatiana has better pure wrestling verna janjiroba overall maybe better with her jujitsu her grappling but she's not a better wrestler than tatiana suarez tatiana is an olympic level wrestler the only reason why she didn't touch down in the olympics is because she got cancer but she qualified for the olympics that's how good her wrestling is she's undefeated for a reason now Verna Danjiroba has a very good record, 19-3 and to Tatiana's 10-0. and You know, she's got 13 career submissions, so she's a threat on the ground, but I don't think she has a takedown threat on Tatiana. She's not out-wrestling Suarez. Her best hope is to maybe either stuff takedowns out striker or hope she can pull off a sub off her back because, yeah, she's not going to be the one having success with any takedowns in this matchup. Her only chance is if it's on the feet. But Tatiana, she's working a lot on her stand-up. So she might even be able to hang on the feet. Especially with like the takedown threat. And Verna Janjiroba is losing to women who I don't think Tatiana would lose to. Tatiana beat Carla. Um, and then Carla, right after that, beat Verna Janjiroba. You know, you could argue maybe it was a different Verna. It was a long time ago. But still, you're losing to Carla and getting out-wrestled by Carla? There's levels, man. I think that's a pretty good sign if you're Tatiana Suarez. Verna lost a striking match to Mackenzie Dern. Um, and she lost to Amanda Rebus, who I don't see Suarez losing to. So honestly, I do see Tatiana Suarez getting this one done and cracking the top five of the division. I just think it's Tatiana's destiny to be at the top of this division and to be fighting for the belt. And sometime 2024, she's going to be fighting for that title. And hopefully she wins it. I mean, she's got to beat Verna. Anything can happen. You never know. But I got faith that uh, that Tatiana can get the job done. Um, but I'm glad she's got her second fight in this year. She's about to catch another dub back in the strawweight division. Hopefully swinging back and forth between flyweight and strawweight doesn't you know affect her. But I think she should be good. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below on this matchup and uh, peace out.